Okay. So let me explain why I didn't stream it. Um, I thought my brother was going to wake up at any moment, so I was like, well, I don't want him to sit here. I think I'll do some attempts, because we got other shit to possibly get to today. And well, he decided uh, he still sleeps. <laughs> a couple hours. I ended up beating the game. And I made sure to record the last bit of the run and then the finale. Um, we'll commentate over it. I've done this before. It's usually if I just want to do something offline or... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do like a salt stream. Because it could have been ten minutes. It could have been two hours. Oh. Um, well, my run was, um, I don't know, I didn't really care too much. It was really about the ease of the stage. I kind of just, I did Kraken, then Tunnel Worm, because Kraken doesn't really affect much. Um, more dudes started spawning on the third boss. I was like, well, I don't want to do Tunnel Worm with like a million things. I'm um, trying doing the spider earlier, but his area gets really annoying, so I did his third. Um, and then while yesterday I was saying, you know, I was going to do the twin vipers um, first, because they were kind of fucked. Um, I started using the melee more, and you can just bounce right off them, um, and their area is really easy. So I figured I'd save them for later, so they wouldn't get fucked on as hard. Then I did the top left guy last. I don't know if that was the call. Um, what happens is by the fourth, after the fourth one, uh, boss rooms start having random enemies in them and so does the hub. Um, so that kind of ends up being annoying. <laughs> um, so I have to fight the boss on a smaller stage, but... He was addicted. I was pretty annoyed by it, actually. <laughs> I'm not glad I'm done, but, um, but there was some bullshit. I had some deaths that were really annoying. Um, a lot of the anger completion. <laughs> yeah. I had some deaths that were, like, it's still fun, but I, I think there's some fault for sure. Um, but I had a lot of deaths where, um, the screen wouldn't be scrolling and there'd be like two guys on the other side. Um, somewhere they'd like spawn like a, like a fucking like charger in a fucking room this fucking tall. It's like, well, you know, you just get kind of fucked on. And there was a lot of like kind of bullshit deaths that were either from cameras or just kind of cheesy RNG or something. So, um, I will say there is a chase scene at the end here. Um, well, there's two. There's one where when you beat the final boss, not the final boss, <laughs> there's another one. Um, you beat a boss, the fifth boss, and a giant blob, like, chases after you. Um, with the area I was, you actually, if you drop the crystal somewhere, you almost can't get back up in the time that the blob comes after you. So if you accidentally drop it there, which, of course I would, I have never done the chase, I didn't know it was a thing. I just, three deaths right after I beat the fifth boss. And that was pretty cheap. That was pretty bullshit. You have to do, I think if it's even possible, a very precise jump pick off the wall into an uppercut that lands back above, and that's all while getting chased. And obviously there's dudes spawning everywhere, so. Some bullshit, for sure. Um, otherwise, it wasn't too bad doing um, the fly guy last. Cause you can kind of just fall down. It's not about the boss, it's more about the, the bullshit, but we'll, we'll start going here. up the Oishi and my camera face in my closet so that it's like proof that this isn't like some video I recorded or something. Yeah, it's fun. I think it's very crude and has a lot of things that could be fixed. But like if they made another one with these ideas and more interesting routing, um, tuned up the, the, the feel a little bit better. Um, there's stuff like if you like aim upwards, you will some bullshit. Uh, if you aim upwards, you'll uppercut. It really should only be double jump, I think. Um, 
because you'll end up accidentally like shooting something and then doing an uppercut when you mean to do something forwards and like there's just little things like that and a lot of the times you'll attach to walls when you don't really want to and, and little things like that but um, also like I said I don't really like the big chunky I tried playing this in like half a screen using windows left um, or right arrow and it was fine but I wanted it just a little bigger so I just went back to full screen because when it's too small, you lose precision, because you'll, like, over-aim. But yeah, it's a cool idea. Um, and there's Mercy. At the end, I die a lot. But you have infinite lives, so... Or at least, I, I, I never saw the life limit, so... Another thing I didn't fully realize yesterday was that when you kill a boss and pick up the crystal, you get your lives back. And when you turn in the crystal, you get your lives back, so... It's not as damning as it seems, so a lot of my planning was kind of pointless, because <laughs> you actually you get a lot more lives than it looks like. Yeah, and I, I think, it was like, I was kind of, you could tell yesterday, I was kind of like, am I getting my lives back? Like, I thought you just got like maybe one or something, but no, you get them all back. Um, you need them in some of these last areas, because they're kind of bullshit, but... The thing is, there's not many reasons to like hold on to more than one crystal and shit, because um, ammo's like such as like a tight thing, so you always have to go back and get ammo, anyways. Um, so that sucks. Um, you'll notice they got something new here where they fucking jump, they like flash words on the screen. Uh, that's pretty fucking annoying. It gets a little tryhard sometimes with it, and there's like some dudes in the room here. Yeah, that gets pretty fucking annoying. I'm trying to be kind of like spooky, but the like kind of. I mean, the game's already got really big, chunky pixels, so it doesn't. It can be a little disorienting in full screen, so having like giant words flash on the screen when you're trying to like do the most kite heavy boss is kind of kind of lame. Anyways, obviously I succeed on this. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah. There's a lot of just like kind of jank stuff in this, but the, the concept's cool and the general shooting and stuff feels nice. Like I think it succeeds despite itself sometimes, by being kind of like rough in the execution. The concept's fun and just like the hard run and gun is cool. I think if the game was any longer it wouldn't be very good, but I think it being shorter is the strat. Or not the strat, but it's a good thing. Speaking of strat. When they flash and the flies appear, they just disappear. You don't even really need to shoot them. Kinda odd. There's just like a little shit like that where you're just like, hmm? Or the little birds. I guess they're birds, not flies. <laughs> choice could be i mean they could still kill you i'm sure but disappear like that right there dude i don't know how i dodged that <laughs> there were times in this where i was like i'm dead and then i'm just like still alive <laughs> off stream gamer reflexes <laughs> oh i should rewind to the part um, you might be able to see it Big rigs racing, yeah. I'm thinking hype. Um, I might play a little better off stream, but I've gotten so used to it, it's not a big deal. I mean, obviously there's distractions. Yeah, we should cancel yeah, my VZ for model, dude. Like there might be some distractions, obviously, and then yeah, you know, there uh, maybe pressure or something. You know, you're not just sitting there alone. I get a little bit more angry when I'm off stream. I'll notice that. I'm not like raging out, but like, you know, stream helps me be more composed, man. When you're sitting in your room, you're like, fuck. <laughs> but uh, this right here, I think it was this one. You can't see it, but if the crystal drops down there, it's like almost, like almost impossible to get back up. And then there's the giant blob after you. So I just came over there. I 
But I mean, I died a lot. I was dying for an hour or two, so I wouldn't say I was playing better, but... I think at this point I was just getting more of a feel. Adrenaline, if you will, because it was the last chase thing. That was bullshit, too. I just, like, accidentally knocked him back. So right now I think I have infinite life. There's some bullshit. If I didn't, I'd be fucked. Cause I went right, and then it spawns on the fucking right side. <laughs> so there's just like a lot of shit like that. We're just like, okay, man, like I got it, you know, like yeah, it's just kind of goofy. And you're like right there next to it, and then the camera scrolls shit, and it's fidgeting everywhere. And yeah, I think if the enemies were a bit more. If they weren't so lopsided on the scorpions being hardcore, and maybe there's a bit more abilities and it was like a little tighter, and there was a bit more map strategy, um, that would be cool. Obviously the visuals, I don't mind it being all red, but the chunky pixels don't quite hit for me. <laughs> but it's forgiving enough, right? Which is cool. Yeah, I figured I'd be on it a lot longer just because I didn't realize how the lives were- Oh, yeah, so I, w I walked past the fucking thing. It was, like, underneath me. The game doesn't pause when you open your map, so I was like, Oh, I think the reactor's down here, right? Because, like, how the fuck do I know? It's in, like, once. I can just die shit, look. Uh, Metroid escape sequence. Um, I die a few times here. Just go to the left. I think the right side take like probably longer. That's my reasoning. Responding bees. I I don't think it's like fucked. Well, there's definitely worse big pixels games. Um, I I just would rather the screen be a little smaller. Um, the game does not let you like move the window around. It does scale, but it just doesn't work. You have to either use like Windows keys to like get yourself a smaller screen or just say fuck it. I mean every enemy, like you don't lose track of enemies. Everything's very recognizable, which is important because you need to react as quickly as possible. Because most things are white on red, so I mean it works pretty well there. Obviously there's stuff like the bushes where you can't see too. It's like it's it's fine. I'm not huge into the I don't mind big pixels in the right, like sequence, but, or uh, in the situation, but in this, I was like, I'm, I'm iffy on it. I think it's fine, but I, I definitely think I would prefer something a bit more detailed, but I, I mean, I get it, right? It's expensive. Yeah, the scorpion's always the hardest. The chargers are usually not a big deal. They're only a big deal in, like, very certain areas. I shake the mouse a lot to show that I'm annoyed. Cause I know I'm recording this shit, but I don't want to like, double talk. I think I talk at some point later. But... Obviously I just be like crazy man now that I know it doesn't really matter. They also spawn a lot of shit. Cause I mean usually you're playing very careful, right? It's a different kind of skill set to just fucking go all in. Fucking battery. I, I keep forgetting to charge my phone back. The Plassy. Yeah, I figured I'd just stream this because I was uh, not going to like stream this and then another game in the same VOD, so my brother's still asleep. This part's pretty cool. Considering how many assets there even are in this game, 
This boss must have been a lot of <laughs> extra effort. Just get like a big horse chase, man. But I don't think you can game over here, which is good. There's a new game plus in this as well where like I don't know what it changes, but like you can only deal with them in a certain order. I imagine it makes it harder to do, I was like, I'm good. But it's cool though. I mean, you compare some of us to like Blazing Chrome or something, you know, it looks kind of quaint. <laughs> but, I mean, I think it's pretty, pretty neat for what the game is, for sure. Considering there's probably way more assets put into this boss than like half of the fucking game. But I was just happy that it didn't seem to matter how much I died. I was like, alright man, I had enough of the bullshit, dude. We even got checkpoints during it. So there's like some bullshit with cameras and like enemy placement and scrolling and stuff. I mean, the game tries to be somewhat enjoyable still. You don't have to redo the whole giant new gameplay horse chase or anything and then redo the whole game before that. Half the time I just don't even look where I'm shooting, but the worm has a few parts they actually have to aim. There's a part at the end where I'm like, I don't know if you get like some bad ending if you do something, or if it's like a game over. I'm never gonna find out, but I'd imagine you don't get like a full game over. Maybe you get a bad, I don't know. Yeah, hopefully I get that Bramble game in the mail today. Hopefully I get Zelda in the mail today. But we'll do Bramble first if I get it. Sure. Just wanted to make sure that I had this done or close to being done before I went out to eat with my brother. Oh man, I'm not beating it because he's still not awake. Yeah, this part kind of me. So right now, the fucking it looks like like I'm I'm like fucking scrolling the fucking cursor like like twenty times on my mat. It's like super slow. It looks like some crazy slow motion, but I'm like scrolling like nonstop. I don't know if you if you get killed there, if like what happens. God knows. Anyway. That was it. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, it was a cool enough game. I, I think it's unique enough, right? I mean, it takes the idea of, like, you know... Oh, I say something. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna be it. <laughs> but, uh, I think it takes the idea of... <laughs> uh, kind of maybe like a rando, kind of... Not a rando, but like a little bit of that, right? A rando or like speedrun where like routing kind of matters a bit. Or, you know, like an Iron Man type of thing. Um, and turns it into more of like an actual palatable game. Um, <clears throat> I think the big beats it hits fine. You know, multiple bosses, levels you have to run through, and, you know, that get more difficult depending on the order you run through them. I think it's just the execution of the small shit kind of built up. Like I said, the this, this scroll of some of the cameras. Some of the bullshit placement, some lopsided RNG, that the map design doesn't really matter a shitload. Breathe because I alt tab. Um, that a lot of the enemies and bosses kind of like wig out and go go wacky. They'll get stuck in shit or just flop around, and then they'll randomly kill you because they're unpredictable. 
there's not i don't really like how like uppercuts work with aiming i'd rather just be like double jumps the momentum how you stick the walls and shit some of it's a little it's not bad but it's a little like eh, it feels a little unpolished or not just like as tight as it could be you could say enemy variety and stuff but since the game's pretty short that's not a big deal I think because you do kind of like pick a order um, and the game is based around dying and redoing it all, you do end up doing a lot of the same bosses over and over. Like I've done the Kraken and shit like a million times, right? But I did the fly guy like four or five times. Um, So that kind of sucks. I guess that just comes with the territory. But I think it's a cool enough concept. It's fun enough if you just want like a tough thing. I say some good yeah. At some point I say hello future me. I'm just gonna be that. <laughs> Alright, here's New Game Plus. Yeah, it just picks the middle and then you just go to what they tell you to go to. I don't know if it changes other shit. But yeah, I feel like stuff like, you know, the limited ammo, like maybe if like managing your ammo was a little bit more fun. And like you could take like one set of ammo and fight two bosses and there's like a reason to. That way there's like more risk but more payoff in the long run. I think that would be fine. Like I said, like either secrets on the map or shortcuts. Um, but yeah, the parts that'll really annoy you. You know, you'll be like, oh, I'm doing an hour run or something. And you know, I made it through all this stuff and then like scrolling deaths. They'll put like two scorpions outside of a scroll. Um, sometimes the rooms will like scroll slightly, and so it's like you're, you're dimming all over the place, and when you put your mouse on the far side of the screen, it'll scroll a bit, which is normally fine, but it feels really chunky instead of smooth. It's kind of like, it goes in like, like big pixel chunks instead of like a smooth movement. But I feel like some of that disorientation and uh, bullshit that'll fuck with your acting times is annoying. That builds up a bit. Um, especially when it happens at the worst times, but yeah, I would call that just a straight up problem. But most of the stuff I have is is a very large collection of grape. So. It's cool. I don't think it's like a god game or anything, but I would definitely play another one. They they cleaned it up a little bit. Um, I think the sound design was fine. There's not a whole lot going on there, but they tried to make it sound spooky enough. Um, I'll have some spooky droning noises and shit when you're like low or uh, the gun the gun sounds pretty good which is important um i did turn on the screen shake because there's enough of that shit already but overall the sound design was pretty good i mean for what it was trying to do maybe some of the enemies could sound a little different but they were recognizable so, so. And like i said visually it's all right I mean, uh, big pixels I get is easier to probably do. Um, I don't think anything got lost in the mix despite everything being red. But that's good. I've played a lot of games where things get lost in the mix. But it's usually games with high detail. Um, where they don't think about readability. So, readability is important in this, so I'm glad they, they nailed that. Um, but since you do look at a lot of the same areas over and over, it's kind of like whatever. And I would say like two or three of the areas feel kind of samey. Um, So, other than that, it felt pretty good. It wasn't like fuck or anything. There's some gimmicky areas, but they weren't like horrible to come back to. Well, game was right. I'd say I enjoyed it, but uh, I was definitely done. <laughs> when I was done, I was like, I'm, I'm good. I don't want to do it anymore. So. And I think a lot of that, uh, the bullshit that. Uh, they were pretty fair at the end. I would have definitely not been happy about finishing it if they put um, a new gameplay section or like a chase thing that had like limited lives still. That would have been kind of shitty. Because that's a totally different gameplay style. So to get practice on that, you'd have to do all five again. I'd be like, oh. but, so they, they, they knew when to hold back a bit. Then uh, some of the accessibility shit was cool, I guess. I didn't mess with any of it, but um, I saw people talking about it, that they liked the assist mode. 
I don't know what it does. Um, and that you could adjust your reaction time. I'm guessing it just makes the enemies jump you slower. That's cool, sir. So unique. Way of doing it. But yeah. Anyways, my brother's still not up. I think I'm gonna have some coffee when I get to the, the breakfast place. Or diner we usually go. I don't know what it's taking him. I go wake him up. Um, but when I come back, hopefully we're doing Bramble the Mountain King. Or, I mean, if they gave me Tears of the Kingdom and Bramble just happens to not come in, that would be the best. But I don't think I've almost ever had Gamefly give me the second game they sent me before the first. Usually the post office is just, they're all equally, they're consistently bad, or it'll be like good. Anyways, that's the plan. If neither of those come in, it'd really be bad. Um, we'll just start something out. Yeah, thanks for hanging. Thanks for watching this little VOD. It's fun to talk over, like, the gameplay and shit, but...